Okay, great. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Fausto Ferris, uh, talking directly from Sao Paulo, Brazil. We are at the Instituto Dante Pazanese of Cardiology, and it's our pleasure uh, to be with MedStream 360 again. And we are here uh, to present a very interesting case. And I would like to express my deepest thanks to uh, my friend Samir Mehta, who allow us to be in life around the world and to show our hospital here and what we do here in our cath lab. Thank you very much, Samir, and also all the organizers for this spectacular um, course that we see every Wednesday. So I have here with me Rodolfo Steiko is going to be the first operator. He's on the left, as you can see. Just beside him, we have uh, Ricardo Costa, and beside me, we have Louis Nakayama. And this is going to be a coronary case. We intend to be here working for more 50 or 45 minutes or so. And after this case, I'm going to move to the next room, and we are going to see the evolve uh, case. So, without any time that you can waste, Ricardo is going to present the case to you, and we're going to start the discussion and trying to show what we are going to do. Ricardo? Thank you, Fausto. So this is a case, a 60-year-old uh, gentleman. Oh, as a clinical no, presentation, this patient underwent an acute event, a non STEMI, no, 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 on uh, February this year. And since then, he's evolving with symptoms of angina, CCS class 2. As comorbidities, he's a former smoker, asthma, And as medications, he's under uh, dual interpreter therapy, atorvastatin, and alapriotenolol, and lab tests, nothing also to cause attention, normal renal function. And his previous uh, TEE from another institution revealed a preserved uh, LV function, 61%. Here you can see his resting EKG and you can see a slow R progression in anterior leads. And the first, he underwent a diagnostic cath a few days ago. And you can see it was, was challenging to do the, the radio approach. And now the left system, it's already very clear that's a occlusion at the very ostium of the LED. Okay. Can you stop this or wait? Okay, that's, you can see the picture here. Uh, can you show uh, now everybody here? Okay, good. Uh, Ricardo, just to summarize for the people who are watching us. So this patient had an acute MI two months ago. Two months ago. In February. Exactly. So it, it seems to me it was an anterior MI by EKG. Yeah. And he was referred to Keth after two months. Exactly. Can you explain them why uh, did he yeah. wait a, so, uh, a long time to do this? Yeah, this, space, this situation reveals a reality that we face in our practice in our country. This patient underwent for a primary care in institution without the infrastructure for a cath lab for, for, for a invasive lab. procedure. And he stayed there. He was stable. He stabilized and he, he was hospitalized for uh, uh, a, a few weeks there, and then he was waiting for uh, a, a, a condition to be transferred okay. to a hospital that has a cath lab facility. Okay, that's very important. That's the real life. That's what happens. If the patient does not receive a thrombolyzer or even a primary PCI, he needs to be referred to a diagnosed cath lab. So after the first hours, or after the first week, I would say, I mean, the patient is stable. We don't, we don't need to, uh, to hurry to do a cath in a patient like this. And when he came to our hospital, we just uh, see a proximal, uh, very proximal, close to Austin, total LAD. Exactly, exactly. And then it's also... The problem, that problem was occluded since two months ago. Exactly. Just to try the, the age of the occlusion. Exactly. Is that correct? Exactly, okay. exactly. And then we see here... Uh, there's some mild disease in this view in the distal left main. There's technically a trifurcation, so we see the circumflex, a, a, a ramus branch. 
that has some disease also in its ostium. And we can see, as you mentioned, a, a close to the ostium LED occlusion with some collaterals, I would say uh, uh, grade two to three, uh, ipsilateral collateral from the circumflex. If we move here to the cranial, uh, cranial view, it's, it's, it's more clear to see the distal portion of the LED with collaterals here and the, the occlusion itself doesn't appear to be that long but also calls the attention more the more significant lesion in the distal portion of the left domain really involving this trifurcation and we also don't see uh, uh, in geographic at least uh, significant calcification there now the LAO cranial view we see again uh, the LED and, and uh, the collaterals here, very proximal occlusion. And in the spider view, we can see better the trifurcation. It's, it's really a, 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 a moderate, sometimes there appears to be a more severe lesion in the proximal ramus branch. And now moving to the RCA, which is a a huge arc. Dominant, very big vessel. Mm -hmm. We see some mild disease in the mid portion, and we already can follow the collateral that goes up to the occlusion. So, big collateral here mm -hmm. uh, in this view, a grade three collateral. Here's a cranial view. That's some uh, disease also in the distal bifurcation of the RCA, maybe 30, 40% there, but not significant. But again, you see the collateral. All, all, all the septal branches here, the diagonal branches, are really feeling uh, the vessel up to the occlusion. And finally, we have seen the LV function, and it appears to be, I would say, a, a preserved function, but we see a hypokinesia in the anterior, mid anterior, and apical uh, portion of the, uh, of the uh, left ventricle. Great presentation, uh, Ricardo. Now we have uh, Louis Nakayama Ohe. And he's uh, one of the our staff in, in interventional cardiology, and uh, he is also a, a a very experienced cardiologist, a clinician. Louis, you have this patient two months of an MI. You have a total uh, occlude in the LAD, as you can see here. Two months of age, if you see. Um, I would say it's a normal LV function with the ejection fraction, and the patient is stable with the engine at class two. So, what is your decision? Would you keep this patient in under medical treatment only? Would you send him to surgery? We could see the distal flow of the uh, LAD is, is great, distal flow, and they also the distal bed of the artery can get a very good internal memory with low mortality, low cardiac mortality, perhaps less than 1%, or would you call Rodolfo to open this total occlusion with the two months of age and do a PCI? Okay, Fausto, it's a re really great, great question. I think because uh, what we say here in Brazil, he's a survivor because he, he, he can he survive a anterior MI, acute MI, so he stayed survival. So uh, I think now we are talking about chronical. Uh, so it's uh, angina uh, class two, but I think the first thing we'll have to do is uh, how much is this, uh, how much, how much is this, this feel for him to uh, to be uh, with angina if he, is, he has some of the, he's, he's working well, he's feeling well. But the first thing we will we'll talk about in, in the emergency room is we will we'll choose for a medical treatment. But why is medical treatment? Mm -hmm. Because we know he's, he's, he survived the, the worst thing that is acute MR. So he, he survived an acute coronary syndrome. So I think the first choice would be to be on optimal medical treatment. Medical treatment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and for yeah, Ricardo, please. Yeah, it's very interesting because uh, some many times a patient like this, when he comes, He's totally asymptomatic, and he has already a very deteriorated LV function. This is not the case here. Uh -huh. We have a more mild uh, hypokinesia, and the patient has symptoms. So that means that this myocardial is viable. Perhaps yes. uh, he was protected by the collaterals. Exactly. Okay. So let's move now to Rodolfo, our uh, operator here. Rodolfo, what have you done so far 
So the patients in the cat lab, so the decision was to treat, of course, that's the reason the patient is here. What, what have you done now, Rodolfo? Can you uh, show us the, the image that you got here, yeah, please? Yeah. And also the... We start with a femoral approach. Okay. Could you move the, 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 the camera to the femoral approach just to see? Yeah. Only single puncture. Please. We start. Okay. Uh, seven French catheter. Seven French. Excellent. Seven. Backup. Why do you choose a seven French guide? Because it involves uh, a bifurcation, a trifurcation. Eh? Trifurcation. Great. Great to and see that. It's a, a, a total occlusion too. To work yeah. easily. Work more okay. Easy, Let more me trifurcate. So you, have, you choose the femoral because you have that tortuosity in the subclavian. Exactly. Perfect. And now, can you show the image yeah, that the you image got here, please? Yeah. So. Yes. Okay. Great. It's, Ricardo, it's, what, it's so the, the, yeah, so that's yeah. that's that's the first angiogram. So we see again, it's a long left main. Seems to me that there is a bridge collateral there. It looks like a bridging collateral, yes. And mm. here in the cranial view, I think we can appreciate this better. So I'm going to stop here mm. just, just to go mm -hmm. frame by frame. Okay. And Great. in this view, we can see uh, the bridge. The, the bridge and the distal. Is there, a, in the is there any name. branch and involve the occlusion? Is there like a small diagonal branch over there, Rudolf? A small diagonal branch? Too small. Too the small. Sure. In the very okay. proximal, right? The, the, the very proximal. proximal. Yeah. Very yeah. proximal. Yes. And yeah. the second, the yeah. proximal. The yeah. and, and you see here the distal lesion of the left main is really more severe than appears before. Okay. Can you please move the camera now to the operators? I mean, in front. Spider okay, view. great. Spider Thank view. you. Now we are looking at the spider. So it's very important to look at. The, I'm talking to the audience now the fellows and the young physicians, and sometimes the experience. You cannot use only one view, only one projection. We need to go to several projections to, better the, to, to get a better view where we're gonna work. So we saw the caudal in RAO, we saw in cranial, cranial, cranial in RAO, and now we're in the spider view in yeah. the uh, LAO uh, caudal. Is yeah. that correct? So did you see? Which projection did you choose to be working with this uh, total occlusion? Which one? Uh, to start with uh, a caudal view. Okay. Caudal view. Okay, let's caudal go to view. the caudal view. Uh, you have the wire. What Which kind of wire? Uh, 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 a, pilot, a, a pilot, a polymeric wire, a pilot uh, 105. So is this your, your first option to treat a, a total occlusion? In this case, yes, because okay. uh, the symptoms is two months ago. Okay. No, I, 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 I always heard that many operators use the fielder as a first. Uh, okay. It uh, could, could uh, be the same. One way. Okay. Or fielder yeah. or, or fighter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or pilot. So that's or, a non-polymeric wire. Yeah. A polymeric okay. wire. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. is there any special curve that you do in the tip? It's very important. Yeah? Uh -huh. To do a, a, a little so, bit. Okay. In the tip of the, the uh, in a, how many degrees do you yeah. use in the uh, 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 45. 45. 45 degrees. 5 degrees. 45 degrees. 45, 45 degrees. 45 degrees. 45 degrees. That's yeah, very yeah, important. Minimal, a minimal tip. A minimal, minimal. You, you cannot have the like a total a straight wire, a straight, right, a straight straight wire in, in either in band, a, a 9 yes. degrees. Yeah. So you need to be in the mid yeah. portion. 45. In the 45. Yeah, and especially in a case like this, because you see the angulation of the takeoff uh -huh. of the LED. So we really need some bend there. Okay, and what's the extension of the bend you do? One, two millimeters, three millimeters? In, in case of uh, total occlusion, uh -huh. a, a minimal. Minimal one. Minimal, minimal. One millimeter. So that's a first lesson. 45 degrees curve and uh, a very is, is, uh, short of uh, tip. Uh, short tip. Yes. yes. Very short tip. Short. It's important to, to know that. So, so what do you what do you did in the caudal view to get across? So now you have the wiring there. That's perfect. Oh. So you can see the bend now. So, so then you're trying to go through the total oh, it's So stop. it's time yes. to stop. Yeah. Yes. Because I don't know if it's we are in the. Um, True lumen, is that correct, yeah, Ricardo? Exactly. Exactly. So, there is what should we resistance. do now? Go to other view. Our other view. Okay, to other view. Okay, ejection, great. Ejection first. Yes. So without ejection. moving the wire, we ejection go to the other to view. Where? Okay. We are. 
to see where okay. we are and, yeah. and make sure we, don't, we are not in the, okay. in the false lumen. So it's like we are in a dark room. We don't want to go to the wall. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a, a good uh, comparison? That's no. a good, yes. Okay. So we are in a dark that's room. It, we don't want to go to the wall and to have your head in the, on the wall. So okay. now we're in the same place. The same see, place. place. Just change the view. <laughs> just change the view. See, see how important it is how important it is uh, to change the views. Yes, the projections. The huh? projections. So it's very important. And so what do you did now, Rodolfo? The tip of the wire uh -huh. is proximal to the digital lumen. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. so, no, do, so, I, do you usually bring the balloon close to the wire at this point? In this case, no. No, we don't no need. No balloon. Only the wire. Only the wire. If, simple, simple one. Yeah, Great. Simple one. And in the, this is the position you feel comfortable, you can advance, yeah. and you have the band you can direct to the right place. Okay, yeah. perfect. I, Perfectly. So, now you're going to advance the wire. Let's see. Turn, turn down. So, yes. Go. Turn and one side, the other, Great. and then just and slips the, the, through okay. the, the true lumen. Okay. That's a very nice technique. Okay. Easily, and uh, you can go get through the total occlusion, the two months age i mean it's not hard to do this but you need to <laughs> to be perfect because sometimes if you go to the wall so the procedure gets uh, so complicated yeah so every simple procedure needs to be uh, very you need to be very concentrated to do this and to use all the rules you know to treat a cto perfect let's go what do you did now so after that there was a wire uh, in uh -huh. the Ramos branch which is so the you largest protect one. the Ramos I uh -huh. protect the Ramos and here was important because that the disease is clearly involved in the distal left main and also the other Ramos okay so we might have to lead with a trifurcation mm -hmm. so in order to plan the procedure mm -hmm. before uh, I starting the PCI in okay. the total occlusion we decided to evaluate both physiologically and with imaging the lesion in the ramus and the extension into the left main to plan the procedure. Perfect. So you did that? So the if, please. If, if yeah. you can, can you have the IVOS image now to, to look at the, the brain and Ricardo, yeah. and maybe you can report what you, you got. The can IVOS you image, the please. IVOS in the image, please. Okay, okay great. Thank so you. So here we are in the distal to the lesion in the ramus. You can see is about 2.5 to 2.7 millimeter vessel. Mm -hmm. Bring it to the front. Here is the minimum lumen area of the Ramos is about 2.48 and a 66% plaque burden. Next. This is very important because we, we are in the very distal portion of the left main. You can see like at six o'clock, this is where the Ramos is coming to the left main and the air is 3.6. So it's very severe. This is stenosis, the minimum lumen area in the distal left main calcified with 69% plaque burden. Next. And here you can see this plaque extends into the left main. So it's not only the very uh, distal portion, it's also in, 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 uh, coming back. And in the mid portion, this is the reference of the left main, is about 4.4, 4.5. And also, if we could have the, yeah, if we could have the uh -huh. FFR, the physiologically. Okay. May we have the FFR in the, the screen, please? Evaluation. Yes. The physiology evaluation the screen, please. FFR. Great. Okay. Thank you. So we also did the FFR in the Ramos. So that minimal area, 2.48 with 66% plaque burden, you see the FFR, it's 0 0.95, non ischemic. So we feel very comfortable to be very conservative in this approach. Okay. Into so the there is no severe disease in the branch and either mm -hmm. in the left main. One state left main to uh, okay. There is some disease in the left main, but not severe. A provisional state in the okay. How about the sir? Uh, can you have the angel back? Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah. We thought that the sir, that's no significant disease. The angulation is less likely okay. to be compromised, so we decided to only protect the ramus. Okay. Let's and go. here we are. Go. Let's go. Now we plan to. And also, it's a small cirque. You have there a huge right coronary artery. Yes. RCA is so huge. Yes. Now, what are you doing now? So, and there is no disease in the ocean, the left circle. 
Okay, there is no disease. No disease. Now we are bringing a balloon. Yes. A we balloon. are advancing. Okay, balloon. great. Two O balloon. Okay. We're going to do pre dilatation. Pre dilatation of the LED. Yes. The total occlusion. So now we need to keep the guiding catheter in the ostium. Then watching the left man, it's very important. We are preparing now the balloon to get uh, close to the lesion. Rodolfo is yeah. advancing. Dashing forward. Is there some okay. calcium? No. No calcium? By angel? Some ca calcium Minimum. in the ostium. No calcium. So you have a, a by 15? Okay. Right. 2 by 15? Uh, yeah. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20 atmospheres. We nice. are opening right. the lesion. Okay. The vessel size is uh, about 3.5. Uh, we don't know uh, the distal yet, so that's going to be important to restore the flow. Mm -hmm. Maybe do some Sorry, nitro to see what's the real. Okay. Uh, okay, so this point, this, so uh -huh. this uh, vessel is occluded by two months. So we need to open and to take a look at sometimes okay. to do some uh, oh. nitro uh, to avoid some spas. And uh, you okay. have a good perception. Mm -hmm. How big is the vessel? Okay. So it's open, as you can see here. Uh, there is a, a distal flow. The disease seems to me it's uh, a little bit longer than we could uh, realize. How big is the? Uh, how long is the disease, uh, Rodolfo? The extension? So we're gonna do a nitro now, and then we're gonna do a uh, control angle. So we are bringing some nitros. This, as I mentioned to you, Fechado it's important. Fechado. Don't get rushed. Do I'm some saying. nitro. Okay. Get the vessel size. The true vessel size. So Ricardo is proceeding with the nitro, as you can see here. So this is exactly what we do in our in our practice here. Vamos fazer um um controle aqui. Já tá. Já deu o teste. Quer filmar? Silvio. We also have our fellow here. Please close to me. Excuse me. Silvio is also right here with us. So the lesion appears to be. Silvio Zampieri. Where are you from? Minas, Minas Gerais, from Minas Gerais. So the control angel here, we can see a lesion that it's it's relatively long. Uh -huh. And we go in with IVOS now, which is very helpful at this stage to see the real extension of the lesion. Okay, now you're it's going to be guided by IVOS. Yes. So you went through with the IVOS just you have to see. Image. Uh, IVOS okay. imaging live. So we are going to do IVOS now, but do you think we need to do IVOS in, the, in this LED to uh, previous to place the stent, Rodolfo, or no? The, the IVOS can help us. Can help it. It's okay. not mandatory, but will help with choose the, okay. the correct Can you position. just give us a uh, move because of the moving so, so fast there? Okay. Can you see? Can we... Okay. Can you have the IVOS on the screen, please? Are you starting? Yeah, we just right. started. We just yeah. started. Start. I was, I was in screen, please. Okay, ultrasound in the screen. Now we have. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Go back. So here we are already close to the ostium. Very, very uh, significant disease. Large plaque bird as expected. I would say just mild calcification here. We get into the distal portion of the left main. So, so not yet, huh? Not, not yet. yet. We're just getting there. The centric distribution here, more calcified. Here's the yep. distal left main. You see, you see some significant disease in the distal left main. Uh -huh. Now that's yeah. a trifurcation yeah. here. So, can okay. you bring the guiding catheter a little bit? Uh, okay. Out or not? Sorry. Okay. 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 It's a 4.5 reference. Okay, so now can you move again? Can you? So we have the IVOS. Ricardo, can you sure. just report Review the IVOS, please? The IVOS. Uh, we, we are going to measure here what the extension, but it's it's uh, it appears to be you might have some, some um, uh, myocardial uh, bridging here in the mid portion. But then, as you come, it's a, a large black burden. The vessel is at 3.5, but it's diffusely disease, as mm -hmm. you expected. More fibrotic tissue as we move towards the proximal part. This is probably uh -huh. a small septal. Okay. We see some degree of uh, calcification okay. as well. Here's more fibrotic, but in the very ostium, that's where it gets more eccentric and calcified. 
a little bit of calcification here. You see the 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 shadow here, acoustic shadow. And what me caused my attention here is at the trifurcation level. You see the disease extending uh, in the left main, and then it's a large left main, 4.5. So at this point, uh -huh. we uh, can you move? Uh, can you bring so. the angel again, please? So. So at yeah. this point, the, what's your conclusion by the IVOS, Ricardo? Yeah, uh, very extensive disease. Uh -huh. I think it's about uh, 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 33, Wagner? 30, uh, a extensão da doença? I think that either 28 or 33. So maybe you can move, uh, measure also with the balloon, just okay. to take a look diagonal, no? in a different view. Are you, so, are, you, are you bringing the balloon there, okay. Rodolfo? Yeah. Okay. So Why, to open a little bit more or just to no, look no. at the extension? Just to look. Yeah, so, so contrast. Contrast. looks like 30. Okay, we'll give contrast. Contrast. Okay. Flash, flash, flash. Okay. Aí bom. Uh, what, what are you doing now, Ricardo? Just measuring the, the, uh, the measure with the, 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 the Are you going to flip the balloon again? Wire. No, we are trying to using the tip of the Dash. the okay. radio pack okay. guide okay. wire, so you can measure how much uh, how okay. much the length of the stand. So Don't, perhaps uh, 30, a three, uh, thirty-three. Don't play a thirty. Thirty-eight by a tell Okay. So you we are using now the tip of the wire just to see the extension of the lesion, to be so precise. Okay. So he brings it back, the wire, let the balloon distal Contraction. and measure the lesion, Contraction. as you can see here. If you can yeah. see the, um, the, the dye, the contrast injection with the wire. Can you, can I, may I have the uh, a back view, please? Yeah, okay. Back one, okay. Easy. The back one. Easy. Just Okay, great. Now you can see now, uh, that's, uh, that's perfect. Perfect inject. So the tip of the wire is 30 millimeters? 30 millimeters. 30 millimeters. So the tip of the wire is 30 millimeters. And we do injection, just just the left main to the mid portion of LAD. As you can see there. And you see it's about 32 or 33 millimeter stent yeah. length. Yes. So we're going to go with the 30 by 38. Oh. So this so, is the this is the way to do QCA using the guide wire. <laughs> this is a very practical tip, and if it's, you don't trust exactly the IVOS measure, how how was the IVOS measure? So the IVOS measure is uh, 29.88. Can you have the IVOS uh, in the screen, please? You can see the IVOS measure now. It's perfect. So if you look at the extension by IVOS, it's 29.88. So 30 millimeter length. And now, can you bring back the angel, please? Just to check the angel, yeah. the screen. Thank you. So, if you uh -huh. look at it again, it's 30 millimeter yeah. length, but you're gonna get, give some room and use a 33 millimeter stand. Is that correct? Uh, use yes. a 38. 38, we are 38? Yes. Because uh, there this is, is helpful, some folks. Yeah. In the left main, just the left main. In the proximal okay. left okay. main. To do the, the pot, main. you better okay. have more room. So we go with a 38. Okay. So it's going to show the shoulder 33 will be okay, but 38 will help to optimize the technique in the trifurcation. So 30, 38 millimeter by 30. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we are going to use the caudal view to do this, uh, Rodolfo. Do you think it's uh, just to see the left the man, caudal it... view, then the cranial, the cranial distal, and the caudal view proximal. Yes. Yeah. So I think it's a, it's a, that's a, a very important when we are in a cat lab to use both views. Sometimes you are in a hurry, you just want to just uh, use one view. But uh, you see, since the start, we did it several views, and now we are bringing the stand in the oh, Louis, caudal RAO. and we are going to position and to look at. Uh, and, how it looks. And in the left main, it's no, very important to leave at least no, eight no, or more, depending on the size of the balloon you have, to do the proximal optimization okay. technique. So now you're trying yes, to, yes, I, to look at, okay, just no, to no. look at the 
first angel, and we are yes. look at that. This is the reference. And yes. Now, yes. Yes. We are testing here. Okay. So, so moving minutes, forward a little bit. Okay. Yes. You see that's enough room to do the pot. I, I, I like this position oh. here. Do you like oh. Fausto this position? Yeah, now can you just stop? Because yeah. it's too stop, fast stop. for me. Okay, good. Stop. Uh, good. I agree. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. Great position. So we're gonna, okay. Okay. we're gonna deliver okay. Let's now. go. Now we are gonna inflate it inside of the Wait. left man. It just needs to be a pretty fast inflation. Wait. We are up to eight eight, eight atmospheres. Just because of the distal. Mm -hmm. There's some calcium deletion. You see some constriction at the balloon. So this is a 3O. And the left main is about 4 o 4.5. By Ivo's. Huh? So now I we pull go. back a little bit. Yeah. Two millimeters. Okay, pull and back now. the balloon. We okay. are not we are not touching okay. the wall in the left main because it's a 4.5 and this is a 3O balloon. And just to open and how, how much atmosphere okay. you did? Pressure? We went uh, first just 10 to the lever, and uh -huh. then we pushed back, and then we went up to 20. 20. 20. Yes. So 10 and 20, 20 with the same balloon and pulling Watch. back. And why did you pull back uh, the balloon? Because it's a 3 0 balloon. That's not a regular practice. Because you have a 4 0 or 4.5 left main. There is no problem. But we're not touching the wall. But now we, and it, we have a good expansion in the middle portion oh. of this tent. Yes. Now, what is your strategy now, Rodolfo? To do a pot, pot, pot technique. POD, okay. With a proximal pot, optimization technique. Four five. Four pot, proximal optimization technique. Yeah. Yes. With uh, four point five. Four point five by eight. By, by eight. six. By six. And how about the middle portion of the stent and distal portion, the, the LED? Are you going to use a high pressure balloon? Yes. We're going to use two, and the plan is to do when you do the final kissing balloon. Okay. And so then you can optimize. First, we're going to work on the bifurcation. Yes. And later, in the mid portion Reactors, of this. Stand. And then we can work this. There's another important. So you're going to work there. Can you see the angel, how it looks like after you deploy this tent? Please? You see there's some pitching of the circumflex. And we expect that the pot will help us to have better scaffolding there okay. and make it easier to reaccess. Okay. It's very important when you're dealing with the bifurcation, special trifurcation, that mm -hmm. you never lose the uh, 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 the access and the wire into your side branch. Okay, perfect. So here now we have, have a wire. A, now we have a, the gel. A four point five. A four point five. Six uh, by six. By six. Non-compliant. It's a very short balloon. No balloon. So we are bring a four five by six balloon to do a proximal optimization technique. Now we are almost there. Uh, you, you did not got through it yet. Is there some resistance? Yeah. Yes. There is some resistance okay, there. Okay, what do you do to just to, to better... Uh, just uh, a, a better don't, support? Don't force. Don't force and a better okay. guide support. Is that correct? Pull back and forward. Okay. So Back here, this so you see, is, this is, is difficult. Sometimes if you, okay, uh, okay. you, and you put your guiding catheter through the left man, you can right. have some problem. So, so what we, Rodolfo did? Here we like this position. Back and, and forward. Yes. Oh, yeah. says. Now, can you, can you says. Uh, get a zoom there? Says. No, no. Sp sp no excuse me, please. Hold on, hold on. Uh, so we have time. Let's, let's show where you're positioned the, the balloon. It's very Fish. important, this, this point. For sure. Can you see that? Okay, we're gonna. Did we're you gonna give hear. some uh, uh, contrast there? Yeah, you see. Okay. Okay. Uh, Can you play, please? Yes, we're just saving here. Just stop there. Okay. So, Fausto, so here, very, very important uh, mm -hmm. uh, step of the procedure when you're dealing with bifurcation, trifurcation, especially in the left main. You want to optimize the expansion and you want to have a fuller position of your struts because remember it's a 3.0 stent mm -hmm. and the proximal left main is 4.5 mm -hmm. so that's not fully opposed we don't need divers to, to know that so here we go the 4.5 very short taking exactly at the carina level proximal to the distal uh, to the flow divider and then we can go high pressure and, okay. and 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 uh, uh, correct the, the geometry of the stent within the bifurcation. So that's the exact position. Can you bring the die out of the coronary? Let's see if you can see the stent there. 
There is some calcium okay. in the ocean okay. of your ID. Okay. The digital. Can you, can you give a zoom, please? In this? Mm, I can zoom. Give a zoom. Yes. Just uh, to show them. I, I zoom. And uh, please uh, put in the middle portion of the artery. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, so can, you, can you bring the dye now a little bit? So you see, the six millimeter is, is the ideal size because we are in the uh, the proximal part of the balloon is yes. in the proximal end of the stent. I got it. And the distal market of the balloon is okay. exactly at the, the flow divider the level. Can you bring the dye a little bit, please? Yes, I'm okay. trying. Okay, to. good. Just, just I, a, before, a little just bit. Just very precise, precisely positioned yeah. here. Okay. Go. We feel like. Okay, let's go. Okay, great. Right. Okay. Go up. So no, we're no, going to go thank up. You. That's very important, what Ricardo said. This is the proximal optimization. We don't want to be out of the stent in the left main and either distal to the left main to the LAD. Yeah. We're exactly on the bifurcation. Yeah. Right? So we are going to the open the, the exit. Okay? The proximal, okay. It's okay. How much pressure did you go there? 14. 14 oh. atmosphere. Fausto, yeah, okay. let me see. Now the balloon is easy. At this, this, oh, yeah. Not, oh, yeah. Uh, it's open. So, so can you go open. through the LED? Let's go. Let's see. This, so, with so, the, just to see okay. that if it's going. The balloon is going there. It's going so, there. Yeah. Okay. Before the balloon was not going easily because the struts were not fully opposed. Now we go yeah. straight. So you yeah. see you see how, how the Austin circumflex looks better now mm -hmm. compared to so before the, the pot? The, the LED flow is is a little bit uh, slow yet or not? It seems to, it's okay yeah, for it's you. It's okay. Ok? Vamos. Pode dilatar? Vamos tirar agora e tem que dilatar dela. Então, o blood pressure é. around the 100? 100. Yeah, 100. Yeah. Pega um Maybe you can get some. Uh, Maybe you can give some. Maybe you can give some. Não, é o normal pressure. A 3. É, Fausto, pressure. Fluids, por favor. 325, balão. Can you increase the fluids over there? Você quer reacessar a CX agora? Não, não. Com guia? Com guia? Depois você já faz o que? Você faz tudo? Aumenta o soro lá dela, por favor. Aumenta o soro. Soro lá. José. Acho que vai te facilitar. Precisei. To recross the guide wire, you are going to recross the. Vai pôr a circunflexa? Yes. And the. Balão? So, what did you decide now, Ricardo? So now uh, Rodolfo wants to post dilate the ocean of the LED. The ocean the is LED. clearly underexpanded, mm -hmm. and then we're going to recross with the wire into the circumflex Quatro and minutos. do the final uh, uh, kissing there. Okay. I feel so very first we are going to open the LED, the proximal LED. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. The awesome of the, the LED. The awesome of the LED. What, what kind of balloon you're using percent. now? We're using a non-compliant balloon. 3 by 25. 3 by 25. 3 by 25 by 15? 15. 3 by 25 by 15. Okay, great. Now we are bringing a balloon to the proximal LED. We post dilate the proximal stent in the left main, did the proximal optimization, and now we are bringing a balloon at 3.25 by 15 millimeter length to open the LED ostium. Now, as you can see here, the balloon is inflated up to 16, 17? 16. 16 atmospheres. So 3.25, the distal part of the stent. Now, bring it back a little bit to get the ostium, okay. LED ostium, up to 20. 20 atmospheres. And here, the very ostium okay. location, okay. where we now, have some other expansion. The ostium, okay. 20 24. atmosphere. 24. 24. 24 atmosphere, 3.25 balloon, by 15 millimeter length. Now we are going to check. Okay. 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 Uh, a little bit. Right. How is the distal flow? Pega a adenosina. No. Yeah, mm. I think we are. Uh, the flow is a bit compromised in the LED, yes, so we're going to do some that. medication so, here. So we are going to use adenosine, nitro and adenosine. Yes, perhaps a little bit of spans. Pode pegar adenosine, por favor. Quer tirar esse balão? I think there is some spans distal. Now we are bringing the balloon back, 
and take a look. So do you usually prefer to use adenosine? How about if you, or even nitro, if you have a low blood pressure or over 90 or 100, or to use a small balloon to, to break this, this spasm? Do you the, use this technique? We, we do use this technique so, and yes. we can definitely use you, that. Same. I think we can, we can try first so, uh, so, nitro, are you in dose of nitro, you. then what are you in you now? nitro. Nitro? It's again nitro. No, nitro. Nitro, your injection. Nitro. Let's pay milligrams. attention. Sport is important in your life, but you need to pay attention what you are doing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The flow I, I can is, see uh, the distal flow. Yeah, there is some. Uh, but it's low. We need to check uh, yeah, the distal yeah, yeah, part of the stent, how it looks yeah. like. Yeah. So, yeah. this is nitro and yeah. adenosine. How about adenosine? Yes, are you, we are preparing the just adenosine. Preparing adenosine. Let's just wait a little bit. What is prepare. the dose of adenosine do you inject? Yeah. Do you, have, do you know? Yeah, in the in the left system, it's about 30 micrograms 30. per injection. We take uh, 600 micrograms mm -hmm. and we dilute for uh, a 100 uh, a serum and okay. then we go uh, 30, about 30 micrograms per per injection. And if the patient uh, does not have any transient alteration here, you can just do it very freely. Okay. okay. So after you get a... Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Much better now. So it's much better. Yeah. There is one diagonal branch, very proximal diagonal branch, that one that you call the attention first, that we see a very slow flow, but it's getting better now. And uh, okay. just to say, it was jailed by the stand. Exactly. Just to say, when you're dealing with uh, 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 total occlusions, whether it's chronic, but even worse, when it's more recent, you might be dealing with some friable material, and and the vessel was previously occluded. Sometimes it takes. It might take. its normal size. So, uh, Ricardo, using your, your large experience in treating bifurcations in left main, now we have a good result in the stent, 4.5 in the proximal, 325 in the mid portion and distal part of the LAD, the stent in LAD. I mean, uh, the intermediate branch looks good. I mean, less than 50%. Should we open the stent struts or can you just leave like this, and just yeah. cash. since we, we got some slow flow in, in LED, so we need to cross. Uh, yeah, you again. see how easy it cross, yeah. and this is a good part, that's what you're going to get. Uh -huh. They open cells so, towards the side branch. So should we need to do that, or can you live like the, yeah. it was? The, the, is there uh, any study showing a difference between yeah. just to live alone yeah. and to, put, to f finalize the procedure yeah. with a kissing yeah. balloon? Yeah. That's one study, the Nordic 3 trial back in the 2000s, I think it was published 2005, 2006, that did not include left main, but what we saw there, when you do a kissing, you're less likely to have restenosis in the side range. But there was no significant clinical impact. We think that if you're dealing with a large side branch and circumflex is always a large side branch, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. uh, you might be uh, preventing restenosis. So that's one thing. Second thing, there's some mechanistical studies mm -hmm. showing that uh, if you don't do a, a kissing, if you don't do this re uh, rearrangement, let's say, mm -hmm. to the geometry of the bifurcation or trifurcation, you might create some areas of low shear stress and that could promote more uh, platelet aggregation and hyperplasia. Wow, this is more theoretically wow. than wow. clinically wow. proven. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But that's another rationale. And okay. thirdly, uh -huh. if you have uh, this patient relatively young, if you have a progression of the disease, mm -hmm. and you have to re-access to the distal marginal, mm -hmm. distal ramus or circumflex. If you don't do a kissing, you might be dealing okay. with uh, okay. a vessel okay. that's, uh, that's already uh, 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 completely healed. So in other so words, that's you, you are favored uh, yes. to do a, a final kissing? Yes, I am. Okay. Rodolfo, what are Routinely. you doing now? You cross the circle with the guide wire? What's your, what I, I are your plans now? I, I put a, a turtle uh, guide wire. Mm -hmm in the hummus and now 
we yes, with a, a three o balloon, three o by eight. Okay, great. To inflate just the ocean on the just the ocean, the circumflex. Yes. And how avoid about because the, the rim says some uh, still yes, there. Avoid but the, the are you going to keep the, the balloon in the LED or not? Yeah. Okay. We have all of them in place, and then you can do one side. See, where is, it? Where is it? Ah. easy to cross? You see, folks, even even without open the cells, mm -hmm. the three O balloon, mm -hmm. they went very easily into the okay. circumflex. Again, this is a good effect of the pot. So this is a three O balloon. Yes, a three O by H. Eight. So in the how about the LED? What are you going to use now? The same balloon. 325. 325. So then you're going back and before doing the inflation in the circ. That's very important. Another point, key lesson. So we are bring the balloon to the circ or to the intermediate branch. And now we are going to bring the balloon to the LED. So that's a good advice. Not inflate the balloon in the circ without having a balloon in the LED. If you don't get a surprise sometimes, is that correct, Ricardo? Yes. Have both balloons both in, in the place before inflate yes. one of them. Yes. Let's see now. You're, can you see the angel? Yeah. Uh, Did you bring, oh, so you have both balloons over there. Yeah. Now you're going to bring. Yeah. Another, another tip is not to be too proximal into the yeah. left main, just as needed to cover the ocean. And yeah. to have both markers uh, in the same place okay. all together. Now we have the both balloons it's kissing. Okay. Kissing. So first we're going here with a circumflex. Yes. We're just trying to get the ocean here. Uh, not what the is the atmosphere you're using? It's, the it's slipped a little bit back. So we're going to move forward again. Four atmospheres. Okay. So Six. we move forward. So just how to avoid this slippering? Yeah, sh shorter balloon is, is more difficult, okay. but just with the mid portion, I think that's okay. We are in a place here. So we six, six atmospheres. Just to open. Okay. We don't now you're going to gonna bring the unnecessary LED balloon here. Okay. So he's going to bring back now the balloon from the LED. Right. To have both markers together. Now only and LED or inch. you're doing the key? Right. Say so. What is atmosphere now? What? How much? Six. Six. Six in the LED. Okay. Okay. And how about the surf? Six, 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 So we four, inflate five, both balloons. Four, Can you four, film, please? Abaixo, seis, seis. Me sofre. Okay, so have six, six here. Okay. Tira, tira. Okay. Okay. Just 15 seconds. The AKG looks okay. The blood pressure is uh, around uh, 80, 85. Okay. Bring it back. You're going to give gonna nitro or you're going to do the test again? We're going to do the control angel now. Control okay. angel. Okay. Aproxima que está sem contraste. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Much better flow in the LED. Okay. Now you're going to do IVOS. Okay. okay. Nitro and IVOS. So we are going to do IVOS. And maybe in the like next five minutes, we're going to move to the next room. So I think the geographic result just look great. The also the circumflex mm -hmm. is no compromise, fully recovered. And I was can confirm to us here the, okay. the optimal result. So uh, for left main, really, we don't want to never so, so take chances. Again, do we need to use IVOS uh, to guide this procedure? Did it help? Or could you do only by angel, like I asked you in the last week, Ricardo? Uh, you can always learn from IVOS, and you can apply what you have learned if you don't have IVOS. And you can optimize, you can, you can use enhancement angel as well to optimize result. I don't think we need IVOS to know how to do a pot, okay. how to optimize. But if you have IVOS, we can okay, good. guide with, with let more me, security. Let, let me do the same question by the other the other way. Would you use a 4.5 balloon in the left main without IVOS? 
Would you use a 4.5 balloon uh, without Ivos? Probably by Angel? Probably here I will go with a 4.0. 4.0. I felt my comfortable by Ivos okay. to go with a 4.5. Okay. Yes. Now you're bringing the Ivos. Me now have the Ivos image in the big screen in the oh, Angel in the small one, it's if five, it's yeah. possible. Please. It's so we're going first here to the circumflex. And what we want to see here is really the okay. but it's more the awesome and make sure we don't have a so dissection there, anything. Just let me know when we start the run by okay. Argos. Rodolfo is advancing here. Okay, great. Where okay. you are? Just at the, at the, uh, a little bit distal in, of the ocean. So you're going to start by the... the We're starting the, the pullback the here now. So you're going to start by the intermediate branch? Ramos branch, yeah, exactly. Ramos branch. Yes. Ramos branch. So we see that's a disease we know already there. Uh -huh. That's no intention to treat. Okay. We're approaching here the ocean. That's the stand okay. inside. Uh, the left main already. You see the fully the opposed okay. stent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very well matched to the vessel size. Okay. There are no areas of incomplete position. Mm -hmm. We should see the proximal transition, no signs okay. of dissection. Perfect. Perfect. So we feel very comfortable with this result in the circumflex. Now, we yeah, also in the left main. Move yes. the IVOS to the LAD. Circumflex so now we are going to move the IVOS to the LAD. So we still have five minutes. Um, to do the IVOS run in the LAD. And after this, we are going to final angel and we finish the procedure. Yes, yeah. And look at uh, perfectly the distal flow in both views, in caudals and also in the cranial, cranial RAO. We're going to the LED. Why did you start by the Ramos inside of the Instead of the LED, yeah, I think Is this was a just a reason. It was just random. Yeah, okay. no, no reason. Okay. Oh, I usually out. start with the main vessel. Yeah, yeah, I like to. Yeah. But uh, if uh, but just there is some okay. dissection, it's not good. We mm -hmm. put another stent. So oh. here we. So we have the eye was distal to the stent in the LED. Yeah, LED. You, you see, also yeah. as I mentioned before. That's a myocardial bridging here. Yes, I could see that. Yeah, that's perfect. Before the total by field, Ivos. you can see, see that. the myocardial bridging by Ivos back, and please. also in the angel. Yeah, we're going to see that later. In the so, this so, distal in the LAD stand. We start the pullback. You see, we're inside the muscle here. Uh huh. It's very, very nice imaging. Can you just have some flow? And after restored X, flow, X ray, after restored flow and, and okay. opening, of okay, course. Great. Uh, the occlusion and nitro, you you tend to okay. overestimate that. You see the diesel transition. Looks good. No looks dissection. Good. Yeah, and looks well fit to the vessel size. We did a 3 by 25 throughout the entire segment. Mm -hmm. And we went higher pressure, more towards the proximal uh, and osteo of the LED. Okay, you know it's really, really uh, a good, good expansion here. Very uniformly preserved. We should be getting now to the level of the bifurcation, trifurcation. Uh -huh. The calcium, so a little bit of calcium behind the struts. Yeah, yeah. here you can see the vessel is even bigger. I think it's acceptable. Okay. Yes, so far. Okay. No, no, you're in the, the left effect main. of the pot. Perfect. Left yep. main. Okay. So I, I want to do so the measure seems, here. It seems to me, Ricardo, there is a um, a huge transition, the distal part, the vessel size, where we are the stent, and the distal part of the without stent. Can you can you see that? And can, uh, can you explain that? Because of the total occlusion, the vessel size in yeah. the distal part is small. Yeah. Um, can you have only the angel now, please? Yeah. On the angel, yeah. in the big screen, okay. please. Okay, great. Now you are going to the final angel. Do you know uh, what? Uh, do yeah. you understand what I asked you? 
Okay. Yeah, I, I, I believe also nice. you're, you're absolutely right. And I believe that uh, with time and restored flow, remember we have a big, big collateral coming mm. from the RCA. Okay. So we're still competing. Okay. And that can affect the full spastic to some okay. extent. You see the myocardial bridging there? Yes, yes. So okay. I think that could Thank recover you. It, uh, 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 to the real vessel size over time. Okay, that's perfect. Oh. So uh, I need to congratulate you. That was a beautiful case. We're going to see the last uh, injection in the spider view. Uh, we had a total occlusion in the LED, uh, two months of age, and we opened that with some left main disease. We Place the stent okay. in the left main to the LED, doing the pot technique, proximal optimization, doing the balloon, open and final with the kissing, kissing balloon, and also doing the IVOS. So, congratulate to you guys. It's a great job. Thank I'm you. gonna move Thank down you. to the next room, and I'll be there in 30 seconds. Okay. Thank you, Fossil. Thank, Thank you. See you later. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.